Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to talk about a subject that bothered me, or not bothered me, but intrigued me for about 20 some years. So, it's been a long time. And that is uh, something uh, related to uh, the subject of building self esteem. Well, when I came in this country, which is the United States of America, I still think it's the greatest country in the world, or at least it aims at it through its documents, Declaration of Independence and its Constitution. I got involved in some, uh, obviously, reading conversations with, um, you know, Americans. And uh, obviously, I started reading uh, newspapers, online articles, been involved in the educational system here. I worked with uh, children. So I was directly involved in this and in this issue of building self esteem. Uh, I will not uh, uh, expose or not expose, not the, I'm not going to be arrogant about my education or but self-esteem self-esteem here as I, as far as i saw it is building a child's a child's um mental interpretation of himself as being valuable and having qualities and being somebody being able to do certain things and not having any inferiority complexes. Well, when we do this, let's start with the beginning. Self-esteem, how is self-esteem built? Self-esteem is built by successes, personal successes, personal achievements. So if I, during my lifetime, I succeed in the endeavors I'm involved in, in my actions. Let's say I'm a, I go to school, I get good grades, I get good you know, recognition for that. Then I go and I get involved in uh, sports and I get, uh, you know, I'm very good at that. And then if I start reading certain stuff and I start talking with people and I get, you know, uh, reviews or people say okay yeah this guy you know has got some ab abilities if you start reading if you start writing uh, what i'm trying to say is if you get involved in activities and you excel in those activities you know that you are a winner you win you're good because you compare yourself with others and if you see yourself at the top of the list that means you're good and you should think about it. And who's below you is not as good as you. So then unconsciously, you will have an, a self-esteem. That means you know you're good at this. You're now at that. You succeeded it. So based on your past successes, uh, due to your effort, your abilities, that you developed or you were endowed by the genes, the environment, your efforts, you have a self-esteem because you know that you are able to do this, you are able to do this, and you're able to do this. Sometimes you fail, but sometimes you win. Those times when you won will build your self-esteem. You are self-confident based on experience on data on exact examples that you succeeded better than others less than others so you position yourself around you when you look around you to kind of where you are this is a realistic uh realistic uh, appreciation evaluation self-evaluation -evalu of your worth of your abilities Therefore, you're gonna have self-esteem. Now, you should have that. You could be arrogant 
when you are able to be the first, first place in certain activity. You are the first, you're the best. You should not put yourself down, because why would you? You are the best. You are not the best. That's a fact. Does it mean you have to talent the person who was below you? I don't know. But you will not look down on yourself to satisfy the person below you, to make that person feel better about himself or herself. You should look and say, no, I worked for this. For this. I have this ability. I succeeded. Why should I minimize myself? This is my value. I am better than you. And you are not as good as I am. That's the reality. Why should I say no? Everybody is as good as everybody. First, there would be a lie. Don't lie. Do not lie. So then we have the self-esteem movement that started, started, as far as I read, in the United States in 1970s. I got to tell you that it's dead in the water at this point. So what did they require us educators and parents and members of the society to do? That is to not recognize value and, un and be liars. That means, hey, you're as good as Tommy. You came in, came in the uh, 53rd place, but you're as good as Tommy. Here is a trophy for you, a diploma, great Thank you for participating. You're as good, don't worry. Instead of saying, hey, you kind of suck. You need to improve. And that is, means hard work. Get your ass to work. Practice, train. That would make the child do two things. One, say, I'm not worth anything. I'm not worth anything. Sometimes give up, which turns you, shows up that you're weak as you are. Or say, you know what? God damn it. I will show this. That I'm good. And it's going to start working. Telling the truth is the best way. Now, if the child doesn't take it that way, he is what he is. We can't be all be uh, getting the first place. Or should we? Now, self-esteem means creating a false, false, um, appreciation, assessment of yourself. It's a false um, a sense of um, worth. You delude that person. It's a false false. Why? You will tell a person who came in the 53rd place in, uh, in a competition made out of 53 people that he's as good, Tommy, you're as good as Michael. And that person will go along and when the situation will appear, will show up, will really think that he can perform at the same level. And then he's going to fail gracefully? No. Miserably. And then he would say, what's going on? So he's back to spot number one. I have no value. Why don't you have value? Maybe it's effort. Maybe it's sacrifice, maybe it's genes, maybe it's the environment that you sometimes cannot change, or maybe you can. So self-esteem is based on your achievements. If you had achieved stuff in your life, you should have self-esteem. If you did not, you should not have self-esteem. I don't know what to tell you. Should I tell you that you should have when you do not deserve it? Because if I tell you that and you will really believe that's false confidence, then when I get you and put you in a position where you're supposed to perform based on your self-esteem, but not on your qualities, you're going to fail. So other people will get hurt. It's not going to be efficient. And overall, that's not just. That's not reality. That's not truth. We can't all be winners. We can't all have self-esteem. That's the reality. And if you tell Tommy, who came on the 50, 53rd place or 52nd place out of 52, that he's as good as Michael, who got the first place, 
then what are you going to tell Michael? That he's as good as this guy? So what incentive will Michael have if he's going to be told that he's as good as Tommy? After he worked hard, he sacrificed, and you tell him, well, actually, your first place means nothing. You should be the same as number 52. And besides, if you pointed out that you're first and this guy is 52, you are the bad guy. Well, that's a society. Because he's not looking up to evolve, to evolve, to develop, to get better. It looks down. That's going to be an involution, not an evolution. So I'm sorry. In order to have self-esteem, you have to have achievements. To have achievements, you have to work hard, sacrifice. If you do not do that, you should not have self-esteem. Unless you're going to dilute everything and the person who really works hard, you cheat that person of reality, of the reality that he's the best. He is the best. You are the best. You're not the best. Oh my God, you hurt the people, the child's self-esteem. Yes, I do. Remember, back to the two options. You're going to be crying and you're not going to do anything about it, which proves that you are weak. Or you start working harder to achieve greatness. Thank you very much for being with me today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See ya. Ciao.